Hey everybody, it's April, it's Thursday, and I thought it would be fun to maybe do some plank variations today. Um, just to, you know, kind of shake things up a little bit, add a little more challenge in some ways. You may be thinking, I don't need more of a challenge, but you know, it's just kind of fun to try new things. Notice I've strategically placed my tree in the background. Um, so we're gonna start um, on our hands and then we're gonna do some fun things and then we're actually gonna sit down on our bottoms and do some reverse planks. So, and we'll just see how the time goes. Um, but I'd like to start off holding on our hands for one minute. So getting things set up, starting in your table, fingers spread wide, <clears throat> pull your shoulder blades together, reach them down your back and then lift your upper back toward the ceiling. So you're separating your shoulders now, lifting your chest, pulling in your belly, come up on your toes, the timer has started. And then don't forget, shift your weight forward slightly. So that helps you get that nice long spine, keeps your hips from sticking up too high or letting them sag down. Always, always pulling in your navel, tightening your glutes. That really causes you to activate your plank is when you tighten up your glutes. Keep pressing into the floor, your gaze is out in front of you remembering to breathe. So you're keeping that nice, long, neutral spine, not lifting your chin up too high or tucking it to your chest, pressing your heels back. So in some ways this is, is active because you're always, maybe you're, it seems like you're stationary, but you're active because you're actively pressing into the floor, actively tightening your glutes, pressing your heels back and remembering to breathe while you're doing this. So we're gonna add a little more activity to this as soon as we get to one minute, and here we go. We're gonna do shoulder taps. So whichever hand you wanna start with first, tap opposite shoulder and down. Ooh, that wasn't a very good one, was it? Opposite shoulder and down, opposite shoulder and down. We're gonna do this for about 30 seconds. Try not to rock too far out to the sides while you do this. So you're trying to still keep that nice long line with your plank. So just keep tapping. Notice how you do have to really tighten up your glutes to keep from rocking side to side. Engaging your abdominal muscles. Pull, really pulling in your belly. That's also gonna help keep you from rocking too much. Oh, I guess we're gonna just do this for a minute. <laughs> I thought maybe 30 seconds, but we can do it for a minute. So we're coming up on two minutes and then we're gonna do elevator planks. Those are a little tough, but then like I said, we'll kind of rest a little bit when we go to our bottoms. So, okay, we're at two minutes. So elevator plank, come down on one forearm, then the other, and then back up on your hands, back up on the other hand. So we'll keep going. Forearm, forearm, hand, hand, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, keep going. You've got this. So notice, this really gets your heart rate up. <laughs> this would be makes your planks much more cardiovascular. We're at 230, by the way. And if you want to stop, you don't feel like doing this anymore, you don't have to. And then we ought to pause for a minute and switch going to the other side first. So now I'm going to go left, right, left, right. Just to try and keep your both sides equal. Notice it's a little bit different when you switch which forearm comes down first. Coming up on three minutes, and then like I promised, we're gonna sit down, I'm gonna do one more. Up, up, okay. So, don't dawdle too long. Sit down on your bottom, legs are out in front of you. Feet are hip distance apart. Palms come right up by your hip crease. You're gonna start off sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, exhale, chin to your chest. Inhale, lift. So you're lifting your hips, lifting your pelvis, pressing your hands into the floor, and then come back down again. Inhale, exhale, chin to your chest. Inhale, lift. Use your glutes. See if you can lift a little higher. Exhale, come down again. We're gonna do it again. Inhale, exhale, and inhale, lift. If you want to add a little more of a challenge, you can extend one leg, bring it back down, extend your other leg, bring it back down, and come down on your bottom. So, we're coming up on four minutes. I'm a little out of breath, I don't know about you. 
we're gonna do one more variation of a reverse plank. So this time, point your toes, bring your hands back a little bit farther than you had them in the reverse table. Take a breath, and then lift your hips. See if you can bring the soles of your feet to the floor. Lift, 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 use your glutes. Come back down, whoo. Inhale, exhale, inhale, lift. Press your hands into the floor. Lift, 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 tighten your glutes. And release. We got time for a couple more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, lift. I know you're cheering. <laughs> Press the soles of your feet down. Lift, 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 release. We're gonna do one more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift. Use your glutes really tighten up. Press your hands into the floor. And release. Whew, and we're at five minutes already. See how fast that went when we were doing something different? So I just like to throw out there that there are all kinds of things you can do for plank. And still, you're going to get a great workout, work, and maybe even work some different areas of your body. And in particular, get that heart rate going. Okay, I'll be back again tomorrow, and I should have a special guest with me. See ya.